Mangroves and salt marsh plants flourish along the edges of the earthen dikes built around the marshes for mosquito control. Though these dikes were barren when they were built in the 1950s and 1960s, they have been colonized by plants adapted to withstand fluctuating levels of brackish water. Mangrove trees are the largest and most conspicuous. Mangroves, plants adapted to salty conditions that bear live young and not seeds, are found throughout the world. They stabilize the shoreline, filter pollutants, provide a place for birds to roost and nest, and feed the web of life in the Indian River Lagoon with their falling leaves. Three different species of mangroves abound at Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge. Red mangroves, black mangroves, and white mangroves. Red mangroves are sometimes called walking trees due to their distinctive prop and drop roots. These prop and drop roots provide a safe harbor for juvenile fishes and fiddler crabs often can seen, be seen climbing upon them. Their leaves are green on both the bottom and the top. Their reproductive structures, known as propagules, resemble cigars and often can be found washing up on our beaches. Black mangroves are named for their darkish, blackish bark. Distinctive breathing tubes, called pneumatophores, are found growing beneath them. Their leaves are green on the top and whitish on the bottom, where excreted salts build up, which you can taste. Their reproductive structures look something like lima beans. White mangroves generally grow the most landward. Their leaves are rather oblong in shape, with a blunt tip that often is notched. Their reproductive structures resemble sunflower seeds.